I am one of the few people that has been lucky enough to hear the entire new self-titled album all the way through in my travels. Uh, I was touring alongside Joe Sincata, who uh, recorded the record and, uh, you know, was lucky enough to hear it. And uh, I, all I gotta say is you guys aren't ready for this. Obituary have influenced every band that I've been in, you know, post-1988. Um, enormously important and influential, uh, whether it comes to your compositional style, searching for that unique voice that they have always had, you know, so that unique sound, that unique style, unique song structures, uh, obituary have defined their own language and, and perfected it. You know, when you watch a band and they just kick your ass, just totally or killer, um, it just does something to you as a songwriter where you just want to not copy it or anything, but it just inspires you to like do more things. And it was very inspiring to watch Obituary play um, live. How those guys play as a band is an influence to me too, because they are just like one cohesive unit of just sheer, sheer heaviness. Better today than ever. Best live death metal band on the planet. Best live metal band, I'm gonna say. Anytime I see them live, I'm on the side of the stage or trying to get to the front row uh, of a sweaty club or venue uh, to take in their live concert because they're super heavy on every album, but live they're even heavier, if you can believe that. One of the things I think is so great about Obituary is that they don't, uh, they don't play to a click live, I don't think they don't play to a click on record. I just love those mid-tempos, just headbanging music, you know, just want to go there and fucking headbang. They have their own, own groove and uh, they, they just like totally lock in. The, the slow parts would come in just be like, ah, yeah. They'll slow down in parts or they'll speed up in parts and they'll be totally uh, in alignment. They just always just had this fucking guitar tone, you just heard it, it was like, uh, Gate Cooper is very influenced by Obituary. Um, you know, the simple, heavy riffs with the emphasis on the groove um, is something that we take a huge influence from. Um, a lot of the times when we're writing a new song, like when we're putting the, the parts together, there's always a riff or a part in the song that we'll call the obituary part. It's usually just really simple, super heavy. Um, we also call them GED riffs. When I heard obituary slowly we rot, it took heaviness to a whole new level and inspired me as a guitar player in a fledgling death metal band to uh, write heavier riffs and uh, to bring that level of brutality to the table. It wasn't until I got Cause of Death that I really went off the deep end and fell in love with this band. You listen to the album from front to back and it just flows and I think that um, those soundscapes in between the songs, you know, I think that, that that helps it along. That really, you know, it helps you hear what you see on the front of the, of the album, the cover art, you know, in between the songs, like you're thrust into that nightmare realm of obituary. Like I love the guitar playing on Cause of Death. Um, I'm, no offense to the, any of the other guys like Alan or, or whatever, but uh, I really felt like that that was the lead guitar playing. I loved hearing in that band. And once they got Kenny in the band, I felt like uh, Kenny encompasses like everything that was great about all the guitar players in obituary and uh, our lead guitar players in obituary and just you know, is all in one fucking sickening <laughs> shredder dude. Well, shit. Just as a drummer, years ago I did a drum festival and I called Don to do it and, uh, you know, he was even like, why me? And I'm like, because dude, nobody plays the drums like you do in death metal. Every single note that he plays, he needs. And he created these moments. Of course, their records um, did as well. Where um, uh, there, there was a a real sort of powerful moment that, that touched on that sort of death doom element. I guess along with the guitar playing uh, and the, just the, the sheer rawness of obituary, I, I always really like 
John Tardy's vocals, along with guys like Chuck Schulman, uh, Thomas Lindbergh, you know, Martin Van Ruin. These guys just have this shredded, fucking sickening voice that sounds like they're in pain the whole time. Uh, I fucking love that. I also... I heard obituary, slowly we rot. It took heaviness to a whole new level and inspired me as a guitar player in a fledgling death metal band to uh, write heavier riffs and uh, to bring that level of brutality to the table. Don Tardy was uh, a very important component to the rhythm section and he, he was very good at mixing um, uh, great, great drumming with uh, uh, control, power, speed uh, and had really good chops and uh, that was that was something that uh, was uh, certainly influential to me. Did you ever see your band logo? Look, as, as a musician, um, obituary, uh, as a guitarist, that guitar sound uh, was always just it's amazingly uh, heavy, of course, but uh, there's also a quality to it that, that sort of stepped above so many bands of their time. So this is uh, my yearbook from 1997, which is now 20 years old, and here I am proudly wearing my uh, incomplete shirt, which I have on now. It doesn't quite fit like it used to, but uh, yeah, man, uh, 20 plus years of uh, obituary fandom. Obituary, even today, it's still my favorite death metal band, actually. Um, I'm really happy to have the opportunity you get to know the guys and go on tour with them and I learned so much and it's like the best dudes to be on tour and hang out with so I'm really excited about the new album. You know John sounds as great as ever, Don is awesome, we got Terry Butler on bass you know from from Massacre and uh, Six Feet Under and I think that he you know honors Frank Watkins legacy for sure you know he uh, he belongs in the band too, you know, his ties to uh, Six Feet Under and Alan West, him playing, those guys playing together in the early days of Six Feet Under when they were very much sounding like obituary and stuff, you know, it's just a total natural thing for him, him to come in. And I think that, you know, if Frank could hear this album, this self-titled album, he'd be very proud.